My name is Masha. I'm a second year student here at DMU. I'm from Toronto, Canada. I'm an international student um, and I'm studying pharmacy. When choosing my uni, I didn't actually know um, any universities in England, so I had to do quite a bit of research, which I think is extremely important for students. The reason I went for DMU is I actually had a recommendation from a friend, and then when I went on the website, I started watching videos, taking a look at the campus, taking a look at Leicester. What really drew me in is I was listening to how students describe their university experience at DMU. So um, they talked about practicals, DMU Global, uh, and honestly just drew me in, and I decided that that's where I wanted to go. Even if you haven't done a bachelor's degree beforehand, you'd be able to apply. And the way that I did it was through the UCAS website, um, or I know you can just email DMU and they can help you sort that out. But through UCAS, uh, it's a website that lets you apply to universities in England. So I chose DMU, um, wrote my personal statement and things like that, uh, filled out all the necessary information, and that's how I was able to apply. Studying at DMU has been really, really good. Um, it took me a little while to get used to the way modules and um, and the course was run, uh, but afterwards what I really, really liked is the smaller classes, uh, the personal approach that professors take. So they're professors that know my name, or um, like you can email them and they feel very comfortable with either meeting with you or they email back very quickly and get back to you and making sure that um, you understand what's going on and all your questions are answered. Um, I love the idea of having a personal tutor. I've never had that before, but it's um, the idea that someone is always kind of checking up on you and making sure you're meeting deadlines and communicating with you um, and with the other staff to make sure that students are um, moving along well in terms of studying. Now the course material, it it's difficult but not um, not impossible to manage. It's, it's more about time management rather than difficulty of the course. If I could give advice to other international students, I would say uh, make sure you do your research. So um, depending on where you're coming from, um, like Canada or another country, um, just make sure you know what sort of steps you're going to have to take once you're finished if you decide to go back. Just in terms of cost, the time it takes, uh, the exams and things like that, just so you know what you're um, kind of going to have, to have to deal with when you're finished. I would say it's better to over prepare. So if you could do things early, if you could um, kind of find out everything you can, about either accommodations, about pricing, about your uni, about um, your city, and to kind of take every opportunity that you're given. So any sort of trips, um, any societies, um, meeting friends, any opportunity that you're given where you can either interact with other people or meet new people, try something new, I would 100% take it. It's just gonna make your experience that much better. So the accommodation that I had lived at both years actually um, was a privately owned one. So um, I found that online and I was um, I just had to make sure I did some calls and then um, find out some more information online. Uh, and if you are doing calls, just a tip, I would do them over an app or over a website online just because you end up saving money on international calls. Um, but yeah, just make sure you, you kind of check in with them and um, that everything is ready for before you arrive. DMU actually did a very good job in terms of um, supporting, well, I, I found supporting international students because um, I had some issue with my finances and then I had a problem with my student card once, so they're really good at kind of communicating with you. So there's a lot of people that you can email. Um, uh, there's like Student Gateway, there's places on campus that you can go to and they'll help you sort some things out. Um, something as simple as writing a CV. We've always written resumes. Um, I've never written a CV before, um, but there was a lot of support that helped you kind of transition into uh, living Lesser or going to DMU or just being uh, a university student in general. To find out more about studying at DMU and for a chance to speak uh, to one of our academics on the course, uh, please book onto one of our open days.